Come on, that is fun. We're looking at the uh, the new Epiphone Joan Jet Olympic Special. I'll tell you all about it after you take a minute or a second to subscribe below. Thanks very much. That way you'll be uh, up to date with all the guitar geekery we have coming out here at Premier Guitar. So Joan Jet in 1977, she's in the Runaways. She bought a 1965 Melody Maker. And they were so cheap back then. I can, I can actually remember seeing Melody Makers uh, when I was a kid that you could find for like, you know, $75. Now granted, there's a lot of money back in the late 70s, but a King's Ransom and me, um, but they were everywhere. And she had one because she was a, you know, she's a struggling artist. And she took out, I believe it came with a single coil, which she took out and put in this humbucker. And it became her main guitar for, for not only the Runaways, but also her incredible Hall of Fame earning uh, career with uh, the Blackhearts. So this is, this is based on that main guitar. And Epiphone has put it out. So here's the basic ingredients. Much like the original Melody Maker, it is a mahogany body. It's a rosewood fingerboard, although the original ones had, uh, it was Brazilian rosewood which is kind of amazing, even with their lower line guitars, they were using Brazilian rosewood. Uh, it comes in about a little bit close to five pounds, isn't that amazing, just so light. Has a medium C neck, which is really comfortable. A cool little rock and roll tidbit, it's got this kill switch, which is super fun. Uh, the original would have a single coil, she put in a humbucker and so did Epiphone. They went with their single Power Hammer Pro humbucker. And it's, it's pretty intense. Let me, um, here it is just going straight into a, into a Fender Pro amp that we're miking with the 57. Now, you're probably not gonna spend a lot of time on the clean tone on this, but it's cool, you know. It's probably not what you're going to play on this, but it does do the clean thing. But what you really want to play on it... That's what you want to play on it. It does, it does the overdrive thing really, really well. So I, I just threw it through a, um, through a red dirt overdrive in front of it. So it does that really well. It's light, it's fun, it's about as simple as you can get. The intonation is really good. This helps a lot. Uh, they also did a, uh, a kind of a unique thing up there with that sort of heart, I guess going for the whole black heart thing. Love that, her autographs in back. Uh, so, I don't know, I love, uh, I love Joan Jett, love, uh, love her work, love the fact that, a, that she's this pioneer and made her own instrument that really kind of captured what she's doing and now they're offering it to you. So those are the basic details. To read the full written review, go to PremierGuitar.com. This is John Bolger, till next time.